Hi there, it's Mathia Ford with RenalDietHQ.com and today I'm going live and I want to talk to you about your concerns like it's too late to change or I should have started sooner, why is this happening to me, um, how long do I have, and I want to um, just kind of give you my feedback about what those questions really mean. So I want to start with if you say to yourself it's too late to change. So I'm stage four, I'm stage five, I'm on dialysis, and you just think, ah, eh, it's already decided. It's too late to change. I should have changed back when I was stage three, and now I'm, it's too late. And my answer to you is, it's never too late. Just making the changes now will improve your life going forward. Um, you can have a better quality of life if you make some changes and you get your food and medication and process going in the right direction. It's never going to be too late in my eyes for you to change. Um, you can make small changes every day. That's exactly what I encourage. But as long as you're alive, it's not too late. Um, I had a friend who I was talking to this morning, and she kept saying to me, I should have started sooner. And that's what brought on this thought for today's um, talk, because she kept saying, I should have started sooner, I should have started sooner. It's kind of the opposite of it's too late to change, but it's the same excuse. Like, if you say I should have started sooner, you're saying it's too late. But it's not. Because the answer is yes, you should have started sooner. But what good does that do? That's saying, you know, I should have, should have, should have stuff. You're not being proactive and accepting that that's the past. So honestly, that's the past. And um, you can start today, can start now. And it'll still change the future. The good thing about the future is it's not determined already. Past is the past. It's already done. The present is right now, and you can make a choice in the right now and do that. But the future changes based on what you do in the right now. And every minute that you delay making those changes, making the improvements, um, is a moment that you're missing out. So I say you make the changes and just see what happens. Because what if your life does improve? I mean, the worst that could happen is it stays the same, right? You make better improvements and it doesn't get you a whole lot better. You aren't any worse off than you were before. But if you make those changes and you start feeling better and things improve, then, hey, you're doing pretty good. So I encourage you to start right now and stop saying to yourself, I should have started before or it's too late. Because the answer is it's never too late. and you should start right now. Making those changes. What are those changes? I've talked about those in other videos. Um, you can go to my website, renaldiethq.com. I have lots of information on what to change. So asking yourself, how long do I have before something happens? And the truth is medical science doesn't know exactly. Um, all of that depends on what you're doing right now, what changes you're making, what meds you're taking, um, and kind of your predisposition. To that so just know that you have time and even if it does change even if you do switch to stage four or stage five tomorrow you still can make positive changes that will improve and slow down the progression of your kidney disease um, asking why is this happening to me is kind of self-defeating so I, I get that you want to kind of be frustrated and angry and upset and you know, why is this happening to me? But it's happening regardless of whether you are upset about it or you're happy about it or you're agnostic to it, I guess. So um, I suggest that you 
have your little bit of upset and frustration, but then you take the positive route of saying, this is happening to me and I can change it. So I don't have to just accept that I have kidney disease and that I have to wait till dialysis. Um, you don't have to wait till dialysis to make changes. You make changes right now and you'll change that amount of time before you start on dialysis or you'll change and be able to get a transplant or maybe you'll never make it to dialysis, but you can change that future again. And asking like what foods are best, in my opinion, the best foods for you are the foods that you're going to eat. Because what's going to happen is you're going to start to feel weak. You're going to feel tired. You're not going to feel like making things. And so if something that you like is on the naughty list, so to speak, if you eating a little bit of that will get you so you're eating and hungry and eating the rest of your regular, you know, healthier food for you, then I think maybe you should try that to get you eating. If you're having no problems eating and you're not, you're just having difficulty with accepting what foods are best for you, then know that it's um, healthy foods like whole grains with fiber to help with getting things through your body. And it's things with um, healthy fruits and vegetables, lower amounts of protein, plenty of fluid, and that's pre-dialysis. I want you to know, in my opinion, there's no cure. There's lots of people who will tell you there's a cure for kidney disease. Um, the only cure for kidney disease, which isn't really a cure, but it's an improvement, is a transplant. And while I hope that everyone who wants a transplant can get one, that's just not the case usually. So in my mind, if you're thinking there's a cure, then that means you're delaying action or you're trying to think, well, maybe I don't have to behave because there will be a cure and I'll be able to not have to deal with this. Deal with this right now. Deal with your kidney disease and use that to improve your life and improve the life of those around you. So let people know I need certain things to help my kidney disease. Um, exercise, eat healthier, take advantage of this um, opportunity you've been given to improve your health. So I'm uh, feeling a little bit today like I need to tell you that this is a reality. The reality is if you have kidney disease, you need to deal with it. You don't need to put it off till tomorrow, and you don't need to say I can't change anything because both of those are not good options. You can change right now. You can do what you need to do. Head on over to renaldiethq.com. I have a kidney diet starter kit that gives you the top like seven days worth of meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, recipes, grocery list, all that stuff. And it gives you some videos to talk about what's going on. It has a short little audio that you can listen to that is me going over how to change some recipes. And um, so if you go to renaldiethq.com and you search for kidney diet starter kit, you'll find that. I also have a set of free meal plans that you can pick up if you just give me your email. And I also have... Um, Yesterday, I did the first video for the Zestify Your Diet series, and I'm so excited. September 7th, it's going to be there. It's going to be on time. I'm going to finish the other ones today, but um, I'm excited for that for you. And I want you to have a great weekend, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks.